Welcome back to my popular opinion. Thank you for clicking the video. If you like my commentary, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn your post notification bell on. So I want to get on here and kind of piggyback off my previous video I did about Mel and Martel talking about the court situation um, in this latest episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now, the first thing I want to address is the subpoena situation. Now, I was expressing in the previous video that um, I felt just kind of like it was distasteful for Chris Fletcher and um, anyone else really to take the stand um, to testify for Martel in this, you know, battle knowing that he is in the wrong. I think we all know that. Um, and, you know, I did forget that they said they were subpoenaed. And so I do understand that when you are subpoenaed, it is mandatory pretty much for you to show up and testify. Now, it is interesting that some other people who were subpoenaed on Martel's behalf were able to opt out of testifying and coming to court. I'm not sure if maybe they had their attorneys draw up some legal paperwork um, saying that, you know, they couldn't make it for some reason. Who knows? But that's what I would have wanted to do because I wouldn't have been able to testify even if I was his friend, Martel's friend. I wouldn't have been able to testify knowing the intentions behind what he's doing. So that's what I was saying. But I, I get the subpoena thing, y'all, because I, I kept seeing a subpoena comment. Now, speaking of the subpoena situation, if I'm not mistaken, these people were subpoenaed because Martel had to submit their names. Um, the only way he would submit their names to be subpoenaed on his behalf, to testify on his behalf, um, is if he indeed thought that these people would speak up for him and speak against Melody and discredit melody and her testimony um and so even still knowing that martel subpoenaed these people in in some of which or i think all of which without their knowledge to me says a lot and more about his character but my my opinion remains the same about these people because they're still going to be his friend. They're still going to go around town touting that Martel is a good guy, like Kimmy used to say. Oh, Martel's a good guy, even though he just had you guys subpoena. And I know Kimmy said that he was a good guy, but the Fletchers still consider him a friend, hang out with him, speak highly of him, things like that. And it's like you, you're talking about how upset you are that he subpoenaed you guys and, you know, you, you know, you were pissed about it, but you're still going to support him after this. And that is your prerogative. But to me, I don't know. I just don't feel good about people who see someone in the wrong um, and continue to support them, even if it means hurting and attacking a woman and, and, you know, potentially trying to jeopardize her relationship with her children and her reputation, you know, in general, all because of his own mistakes. So, yeah, I don't I don't think the Fletchers are bad people. Melody actually vouched for them in this episode and said that they were good people and that they actually were neutral in the situation between herself and Martel. Um, you know, and for me, for me, sometimes neutral is not good. That And that's me personally. That's my opinion, which it may be unpopular. Um, for Melody, that might be enough. But for me personally, I feel like I don't care what your relationship is with me and another person. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And when you see that and when you don't speak up for right and speak out against wrong, to me, you become just as wrong. And, and I don't like that. So that's why I feel the way I feel about all the people who are around Melody and Martel while they were married and even now seeing the injustices that have been happening to Melody and not many people have really spoken up for her or held Martel accountable. They actually all enable his behavior and his mindset from his mother down to the entire cast. So what I'm wondering is what what makes Martel this great person that all these people around just let him do whatever he wants to do and everyone knows the toxicity that he brings and the negativity that he brings to people's lives um, and no one speaks out against it. Everyone continues to make it seem like he's this great person. What is it about him? How you know we see he's not a good friend because clearly he will subpoena his friends to court and not even talk to them or 
have the courtesy to mention it to them. Clearly, he will allege that his friends have slept with 20 women and say that even though we know he was the one with the 20 women, you know, that came to light. But, you know, even saying that about people that are your friends or when he kept saying that Kimmy was the side chick. And we see that's a new conversation that keeps um, being brought up even this season, <laughs> you know, about Kimmy allegedly being the, the side piece. So it has to be that Martel just has information on everybody and they, they want to appease him and have a deal with him. And, you know, they're probably allies with him, um, on the show and things like that. But people behind the scenes, I know are talking, but people on the show, you know, of course, Martel's breaking his little side deals with him. Like, if you don't talk about this, then I won't talk about that. If you don't speak about this, then I don't speak about that. Cause we know the guys have done their dirt together i just think the the men on love and marriage huntsville are just toxic i mean it, the only one that doesn't seem super toxic is lewis but at the same time lewis seems so so nice those kind of people that are super nice sometimes you got to watch that like hmm you probably the sneakiest um and we don't know what his previous divorce was really about for real for real so I, I don't exclude him either. I think all the men, even Carlos King, the most toxic of them all, I think all of them um, that are associated with the show are just toxic. And I think people are starting to really get sick of it. I know Maurice talking about Kimmy the way he did um, in that last episode and in the interview with Messy King, um, you know, that affected people negatively. And so it's just like the men on this show, Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> down in the dumps, okay? So, y'all, let me know down in the comments what you think about this topic. Do y'all think Martel has something on these people? Because he's clearly not a good friend. And would y'all be mad if y'all friend subpoenaed you to court without your knowledge? Let me know down in the comments. Bye-bye.